Hi everyone. Um, just came on to see a massive, 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 big, huge thank you to one of my dear friends, Melissa Gibson. Melissa had been hinting to me for a few days that I was going to get a something in the post before the weekend. Now, she messaged earlier and said, Are you doing a delivery there? No. She said, There's a few, says, but nothing from you. I says, But I says, um, I says, That's Royal Mail for you. And I had said about KZTT, which I'm absolutely livid about, but it's my own fault. I sent a bus class post and it's not got there. So I will be making key something else and I will be sending it registered delivery hopefully tomorrow I was planning to try and get it done for tonight but I don't think I'm going to get it done by the time I actually work on the base of it and then dry and so I think I'm aiming for tomorrow morning to get it registered post um, and I had said to her this is Royal Mail's adult she went not Royal Mail okay says, well, uh, if it comes, I says, I'll let you know. Um, and then the door went and dropped him, went down and got the door to come up with the biggest bouquet of flowers you could imagine. They are beautiful. They are pink, which, as you all know, pink isn't my favourite colour, but... After 37 years, I think I'm finally embracing the pinkness because I love them. They're on my window ledge just there. Um, I have got photos of them on my Facebook page. Uh, I will try and work them in at the end of the video maybe. Don't know how to do it. Might not be able to do it, but I'll try. Um, I'm over the moon. The wee card she sent was that one there. And inside it just said, Thought that these would look lovely in your new room, lol. Told you it would make you smile. Keep your chin up, honey. Love and hugs always your friend Mel before we kiss you. Um, I was just saying earlier to Ian, the last three Days have been not bad days, which is a plus. Um, the way I explain it that helps people to kind of get what I mean is when it's been really, really heavy rain and then you see the sun starting to burst through the clouds. might not last long. But there, there's something there, um, and that's how I felt the last couple of days. Don't get me wrong, there's still low patches, but the sun is starting to come through. Um, fingers crossed, this is the sun going to beat through a wee bit stronger every day, and the flowers that Mel sent me today, um, today's a, a decent day. Um, I'm a wee tad soft today. I have got a funny feeling I might have a wee kidney infection. My, I think I had a wee urine infection last week and I was drinking cranberry juice and things to try and flush it. Um, and I thought it had worked. But last night I had a lot of pain in my lower back and I'm just not right today. My stomach's just not with it and my back's still quite sore just at the lower where my kidneys are. So I'm going to give it tonight to see how I feel. If I'm not in the bed in the morning, I'm going to ring the emergency GP because I don't want to leave it too long with my kidneys. They tend to just go mental with me. 
yeah. Last kidney infection I had was a good four or five years ago and I was in hospital for about fortnight because I just couldn't get any better. The antibiotics weren't working for some reason. Um, but I'd been ill with other things and they think there was a resistance to some of the antibiotics. Touch wood. The last antibiotics I had were two years ago, a year and a half maybe. Probably winter two thousand and thirteen. Two thousand and twelve into two thousand and thirteen was the last time I've had an antibiotics so I'm I'm hopeful um that whatever they give me will work first time. Um also, just on a quick note, I have opened a Facebook group. Um, it's called Crafty Haven, C R E F T Y H G B E N, Crafty Haven. It's just a site for everyone to come together, chill, relax. There's no pressure whatsoever. Um, my plans for the group are very open. Uh, I'm not, uh, what do you call it? I don't have a lot of expectations. The way I would like it to kind of go is I ran MSN groups back in the day for graphic art, what we called um, tags, um, and it was signature tags that you add to the bottom of your emails and things. Um, and I always ran my groups with other admin assistants or whatever you want to call them. We worked as a team, it was always a democratic, no one had more power than someone else. Any choices that was made for the group was a full discussion about it. Um, although I was head admin, I didn't say, well, you, you and you do that. Doesn't work for me. Um, one of the people who like everyone to just get along and give everyone the fair share. Uh, the group that I have set up is initially I have put in for say the eBay sellers so you'll find all the sellers on one page so if you're looking for something these are ones who we have bought from they're reliable and you'll get a good deal from them um, and it saves you having to hunt through the whole eBay. You've got a good list of shops there that you know you're going to get quality from. Um, I have also done similar for UK stores. I've done um, flower suppliers. I've done art supplies like paint, paintbrushes. Um, watercolour, uh, oil painting, pastels, that type of thing, gel mediums, all that is in one area. I have got all round stores that do everything. Uh, I have got what else did I oh, die cutting, so I've got what like, Sadiq's up, I've got cutting edge craft, cutting edge craft. I can't remember. Icon, there's a few of those on it. I have also put up one for stamps. So if you're looking for something particular, you'll just look down that list and you will find somewhere that sells it. My advice for that would be open up a few tabs, look through all the stores for what you're looking for, add them all to a basket, and then what I do is just check what basket's cheaper 
including the delivery and stuff, and buy it from them. Some stores, obviously, you're not going to get everything that you're looking for, but that's up to you to compromise where your prices are concerned, maybe. Um, but that's how I do it. That's how I always work it. What you might get a pound cheaper in another store, you might get something else two pound cheaper in the same store. So you just, you've got to have a wee, as I said, put everything that you're looking for in the basket before you think, well, I can get that a pound cheaper in another store because it might be two pounds off something else in the store that you're looking for and you've just closed the page. Um, and obviously if you're buying it from two different suppliers, you're paying two lots of postage. It might still work out cheaper that way, but double check it before you do it. Uh, the only main rule I have is I don't want any animosity. No arguing, no being rude to any other member. Um, because I just won't tolerate it. The main aim is to have everyone relax. If there is a member that you have a problem with and it's a genuine problem, if something has happened recently and you just can't get it dealt with, speak to me and I will try and act as a mediator to solve the problem. Um, if it is just a character clash, do not post in each other's threads. Try not to converse as much as possible. Um, uh, what else? Because if I find out that there's someone causing problems on the group, I will just ban them. I don't want to. I'm not like that, but I refuse to have somewhere, I mean I'm calling it a haven because I want it to be nice and peaceful and a wee crafty sanctuary that can always have blood on so you can know what my head's busting, I've been doing blah 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 all day I'm, I've hit a brick wall I can't find where to go help and we can just blend on and get it sorted in time work it through together that's my aim I want to try and have somewhere that through the day there'll be someone about online who you can blend up to and there'll be no issues. Uh, so the site is Crafty Haven. Um, just apply to join. As I said, I can add my Facebook friends to the group. But I would prefer that you apply to join because I don't want to add everyone and then you think you don't know what, that's not for me. Um, but as I said, I hope it will work. And even if it is just for information and weight buying things, that's fine. The other thing I was thinking of doing was um, restashing. If you've got stuff that you're no longer needing, no longer wanting to use, I'll well, put it on eBay, stick an album in the Facebook group. And if anyone wants it, you even leave it up for a week. If anyone wants it, then you save yourself from fees. If no one takes any of it, then try eBay. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm starting to get a bit sore. Um, thank you again, Melissa. I will make it up to you when I see you next month. And I really cannot wait. I was a bit worried with the car. Um, but Ian has now got the car back on the road. He's away to work. Yay! And it cost me 20 something pounds. Is that right? 20, 20 or 24 pounds it cost me to get it back on the road. My hobby is good, good for some things. Um, Went a wee out to the ride this morning on the bus, picked up oil, picked up the part, came all the way back, fitted it in the car, came in, got a quick wash and said, I'm going to wait my work so I'll see you at 10 o'clock tonight and off we went. So, uh, I'm really chuffed because I was panicking last night. I thought, 
I'm not going to get to Ireland. I thought that's my holiday gone. It's got to cost me 300 quid to get to Catholics. But thank you, Lord. I seem to have managed to get by. And I'm just hoping, against hope, that for the next four weeks, nothing goes wrong. Um, but today's been a decent day. I'm going down now to meet Kay's ATC, get a few ideas in mind, and I will have it in registered mail tomorrow morning. Anyway, thanks for watching and Facebook group. If you want to join, just come along. Um, only thing I'll ask is leave your attitude at the door when you join, because <laughs> we don't do attitude. Have a laugh, but no attitude. Right, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Oops, wrong button. I'm not